Okay, so today um, we heard a lot of good science, uh, we had some good discussions. I think what we can um, definitely say is that biosimilars are now um, a very viable option for physicians to treat patients. There are uh, still some issues to discuss, but um, as Dr. Ruiz said from the EMA today, um, you know, biosimilars now um, are clearly um, very advantageous towards patients. Uh, while all these molecules are complex, it, it looks like now that um, you know, biosimilars um, um, provide meaningful opportunities for patients. Uh, there's still some questions to answer, but um, I think everybody is now really interested in having that dialogue. I think the real challenge um, in terms of biologics is that they are very complex medicines. They are much more complex than traditional small molecules. They require very... Uh, um, control processing. There's um, a lot of complexity with the molecules. There are a lot of molecules that are inherently unstable. Um, some molecules are difficult to produce. Um, we use a lot of engineering, we use a lot of analytics. So really uh, the take home message here is that for complex medicines uh, and biologicals, the process that you use defines um, the product. So we have to be very, very careful um, in terms of how we manufacture molecules, control the process. And then the other challenge from the, uh, notwithstanding the technical challenges, the other uh, challenge really with biologicals is that we make them more affordable for a more variety, a large number of patients. Okay, so in reality, um, I mean, if you just look technically at what uh, the definition of a biosimilar is, a biosimilar and a biological, essentially, Biosimilars are molecules uh, whereby if there are any differences between a biosimilar and the innovator product, those differences are deemed to be um, clinically insignificant. From a bioprocessing perspective, um, manufacturers wouldn't draw much distinction between a biosimilar and an innovator product. The mechanism by which we produce the molecule, um, the, the unit operations that we use, from tying a vial of cells to filling a product are essentially the same. So the bioprocessing a process, if you like, that we use doesn't really vary. Um, we use very standard templated type um, processes. Okay, so what I think I've learned today um, and, and at this symposium and indeed some of the speakers referenced it was the fact that education is still required. Um, there's um, a lot of uh, misinterpretation, uh, misinformation around some of these concepts. So I think education um, to all stakeholders, be they manufacturers, be they regulators, be they patients, be they physicians. Um, uh, the more education that we can have, the more dialogue that we can have ac across all these various groups will only help to strengthen um, and hopefully foster implementation of these molecules. I mean, at the end of the day, we're in the business of treating patients and the more successfully, the more safely, and the more effectively we can treat those patients, the better, whether it be an innovator product or whether it be a biosimilar. So education is key.